is Salt Creek at the Illinois Prairie Path. Sunday. Had over six inches of rain yesterday, another two to four inches today. This is how the storm sewers in the area get flushed out. You know, the storm sewers, you think about it, the sewer itself would be lower than the level of the creek, and then the creek would backflow into the sewers. So they have what's called a lift station. And the lift station pumps the water out of the storm sewers and puts it into the creek. Yeah, this is definitely the worst I've seen since 87. That's looking north. Looking south. Yeah, it's still raining. There's going to be water on the camera. What the heck? So far, it hasn't risen above the level of the levees they put in after the 87 flood. see it's getting close to the level of the uh, road with the flood control structure upstream that's definitely alleviating a lot of the pressure over here now let's just take a walk around prairie path looking east This whole neighborhood got flooded in 87. We're approaching the back end of the lift station. Okay, we're at the end of West Avenue. That's west there. And Randolph. And we're over at Ben Allison Park. So here we have the street. There's the creek. So the creek raises another foot. There's potential potential for problems. Nice and soggy back in here. I've seen this lift station operate before, but usually when it operates, it only operates for a a minute at a time, a couple minutes at a time. That thing's probably been in continuous operation for the last 24 hours. We'll just head up here in the hopes that we can get a better shot of the creek. That doesn't look like it's going to happen. There's the city bomb shelter. Now you can see one of the reasons why the city has chosen not to keep that bomb shelter in operation. Can you imagine that? You have the nuclear war and a flood at the same time. Well, this is as good as it gets, people. Not really too much to see from here.